Our next example on heat transfer is uh, the heat transferring to a wall of a house, just like example number five. But in this case, we're going to add insulation between the outside and inside wall uh, rather than just an airspace. And if you remember right, when we had an airspace, the dQ dt, the amount of heat transfer to the wall per unit time per second, was 5.8 watts, 5.8 joules per second. Let's see how that much changes when we put insulation material, which has a much smaller heat conductivity uh, value than air. Let's see how much of a difference that makes for our dQ dt. All right, so we had said that we're going to take a typical one square meter section of wall. The difference in the temperature between the outside and inside was 20 centigrade degrees. And so we divide that by L1 over K1 for the outside stucco. So that would be 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.8 for the K value for stucco. Plus then we had the plywood section, one centimeter, 0 0.01 a meter divided by the K value of 0 0.1. Notice how the K value for wood is much smaller than it is for uh, stucco or concrete. But now we have the insulating layer. So we now have a thickness of eight centimeters so 0.08 meters divided by the conductivity constant of 0.0022, very, very small. So this will be a very big number in the denominator, causing a much smaller ratio for the dQdt. And then finally, the uh, drywall was the same as last time. So we had uh, drywall thickness of about one centimeter divided by 0.6 for the conductivity constant. So let's find out now what the heat loss will be through one square meter of wall as compared to what it would be without the insulation. Remember, without the insulation, let's write it down so we remember. So without insulation, the dQ dt from the previous problem, if I remember right, was 5.8 watts, 5.8 joules per second. Let's see what we get in this case. 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.8 plus 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.0022 plus 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.6 equals, and I got the same value, so I probably didn't make a mistake, and on times 20 equals 0 0.55 joules per second or watts. Notice that it re drastically reduced the heat loss through the wall by putting this insulating material in there. So that's why it's a really good idea when you build a house in an area where it's either very hot or very cold outside that you put the insulation in the walls, put the insulation in the, f in the ceilings, put the insulation in the floor, anywhere you can put insulation in, you can see how much it makes a difference in the heat loss through the walls, the floors, the ceilings, and so forth. All right, very good example. and. Um, on our next video, we're going to show you how to deal with R values. Like in the United States, we have these R values for the different building materials. And to get a better feeling and understanding of that, we'll do a quick video on that.